Welcome to Modern Family with your host and resident lesbian, Cassie. Join her and our resident LGBTQIA plus ally, Molly, as they talk to women of all walks of life to discuss everyday matters of a woman's world. Join these lovely beauties every Friday at 8 p.m. to talk about hot topics, sensitive topics, but most of all, the real topics. Hello, beautiful humans. How are you? Welcome to Modern Family. My name is Cassie, your host and resident lesbian here on the show. Um, if you are new, welcome. We are so happy that you have joined us this evening. Don't mind my mirror in the corner. We will get to that shortly. Um, but if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and joining our shenanigans. You never quite know what you're going to get with us here on Modern Family. Could be fun could be funny, could be sad, could be serious. You never really know. This week's show is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. However, we do have to let everyone know that here on Modern Family, we may look like ladies, but some of our favorite words are for short little letters. So here's your fair warning. So grab your favorite cocktail, mocktail, drink of choice, a snack, a pillow, a blankie, whatever you'd like. And, uh, lock yourself in the bathroom, or my favorite, lock those kiddos in the bathroom. And uh, actually, usually it's the other way around. Lock the kiddos in the bathroom, or my favorite, lock yourself in the bathroom. And uh, join us for the next hour while we get into all kinds of shenanigans. As you can see, the word issues are already forming, so it's going to be a good one, everybody. But I'm going to bring out my co-host so we can, you know, say hello to her and then we can jump right into our, our guest because we are super excited to have her. So I'm going to bring out my lovely co-host, Molly. Here she comes. Hello. Hi. Um, also, I'd like to point out um, I'm fresh faced. You are fresh faced. I'm really excited um, for what is in store. Also, I'm eating um, food. I mean, usually it's me <laughs> stuff in my face. So get it, girl. Like, yeah. Do it's dinner your time thing. here. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm super excited to be back. Um, this week was kind of a crazy week. Had yeah. a very eventful weekend. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty pretty good week. Yeah, and it went by quickly. So oh my gosh, ever juice is another week. So yeah, and we made it. We made it through another week, guys. We're here. We made it. We're alive. Right? Praise be. Well, you're here. I'm queer. Right. And here we are in Modern Family. <laughs> right. Right. But so real quick, before we bring out our special guest, I want to go through where everybody can find us mm -hmm. and all of our craziness that happens every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we stream live on Facebook and on YouTube. So mm -hmm. make sure you check us out on our network, which is WLFE-DB.com. You can also find us on their Facebook, which is WLFE-DB Radio, and their LGBTQIA plus channel, because we fall under all of those beautiful umbrellas. Yes. Yeah. But most importantly, check us out on our own social media, which we have Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. They are all spelled the same as they are up here, except there are no dashes in our Instagram handle. They're between modern and the E and I and family. So make sure you check us out on there. You can check me out, um, you know, just fucking around on uh, TikTok. <laughs> Random videos with my dog and sometimes- I love the dog if, videos. <laughs> my cats, oh, if they decide that they want to, you know, join, usually they're just like- Right. Well, I feel like cats are like that type of animal that really doesn't have time for you unless they want to. Oh yeah, my cats, their attitude is fuck you all the time. Like, excuse me? You want me to what? Yeah. No. Unless they're out of something. Then I'm their favorite thing on the entire planet. Right. Um, other than that, they're just like I was like, I got some catnip. <laughs> peasant, go away. Literally, right? Also, and my, I look like I just woke up. Like rolled out of bed. I like mean, happy bed. nap. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not opposed to a happy nap. I Oh, also people, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot don't about forget. that. I was like, that's my part. I missed it. <laughs> that's okay. I, I 
But I had one thing. One thing to one do. job. <laughs> one job, Molly. <laughs> um, no, I already screwed up our warning of, hey, we like to swear. So <clears throat> literally, I think sometimes I feel like that just should be our disclaimer. Hey, sometimes we slip out words that are may not be appropriate for children. Right, I'm going to just start swear. saying, sometimes fuck happens. Okay, right? I, I can't help it. It just, it falls out of my face. Right, right. My no, mama raised like, a lady, like, but. I am able to like turn it off sometimes. Yeah. But then I do catch myself I'm like, ooh, wait, I shouldn't have said that in this environment. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> fuck happens. Right. I think maybe that'll be one of our first stickers too. Right. Fuck happens. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But, um, so I want to jump right in yeah. to our super special guest. We've talked about having her on the show for quite a while now. A um, she is an up and coming makeup artist. She, who is up and coming very, yeah. very quickly. Well, and she's just like, her skills are just amazing. Flawless. It, seriously. I have to have a filter. That's just her face. Seriously. Well, and like, I feel kind of jaded a little bit because I've been doing makeup for like how long now? And I'm not even like as good. And I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. No. Like, I love to hate people like her. And I hate to love them because it's right. like, I wish I had your talent. Well, and I feel like some people have talent after they master it. And some people just have talent. Just right yeah. off the bat. And like, she's one of them. Yeah. Absolutely. Just right off Absolutely. the bat, born with it. Yeah. It was definitely a, a talent that she was born with. And enough of raving about her. I can I see her uh, backstage. She's fixing her hair and make sure she looks fabulous. Because, you know, <laughs> she's beautiful That's in cool. every way, shape, and form. But I would love to introduce Modern Family to our dear friend, Alicia Renee. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. How are you? Your face. Gorgeous. Like, well, well, not right now. (laughs) You you haven't even beat it yet. It's like, Uh, I have on like 16 pounds of stuff. Well, mm -hmm. right. (laughs) (laughs) The funniest part is during, like, before before we were getting ready we were literally talking about like how i miss my freckles of when Mm -hmm. i was younger and i used to have them all over and you have them and i love freckles and i just want to paint them on my face you know what's so funny about freckles i hated my freckles until i started tiktok literally until i started tiktok so i started going live and then i would get so many comments of like oh my god i wish i had your freckles i love your freckles and then after a while i kind of was just like I like live for my freckles now. It's but I like hate them. Them, right? Yeah, like I'm yeah. like loving them now. I'm like, okay, absolutely. I'm like, yeah, uh, it's a job. Right. Well, Alicia, before we jump into all of our craziness and some of the comments, why don't you tell everybody watching a little bit about yourself? Yes. Yeah, so, hello, everyone. Um, I'm newly 22. Disgusting. Absolutely not. This, this, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. It's giving, I'm almost to 30. <laughs> so, I hate you to <laughs> Brett, I know where you live, okay? So, yeah, but newly 22, I'm an Aries. Um, I'm also a wonderful, lovely, proud trans woman. Yes. So, absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, I started getting into makeup. I want to say in the ninth grade, it was kind of the beginning where I was kind of really just getting to know myself. So, it started off, I was actually staying at a friend's house um, and she just had a ton of stuff and I was just like, okay, I want to play and just see what happens. So, and then after a while, I kind of like started getting like super addicted to it because I love transformations of like anything. So it just kind of started there and then I just started progressing, progressing. I didn't even think being a makeup artist was something that I'd want to do. And then kind of after high school, I took it a little bit more serious. And then, you know, now we're here. I definitely... Um, I'm trying to push into, you know, social media world and TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that there. So definitely check me out on TikTok if you want to see different transitions and different makeup looks and stuff like that. I have too much fun on that app. So I like to make a fool of myself. So come stay tuned. (laughs) Because I literally, uh, it's crazy. 
Well, I was going to pop up uh, your picture here that has all of your handles on it. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So it looks like TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram. Hold on, let me turn my banner off so we can yes. see yep, them. Yep, they're all the same. Insta. That's. I was so proud and so happy that I was able to find um, a name that literally went for every single handle because I hated the fact that I'm like, oh my God, different social media handles. I'm like, if they're all the same, it's going to be so much easier. But yes, yeah, so... Snapchat, TikTok, and Instagram, all at Alicia Renee with an extra E at the end. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, make sure you go check her out, follow her. Um, I catch your lives all the time on TikTok, and I absolutely love watching your lives. Um, Molly and I were giving her a hard time earlier. Um, like, I just want to, like, sit in your lap and watch you do your makeup because mm -hmm. it's just stunning. But there oh, are times where, like, she's all up in her mirror, and I'm like, bitch, move your mirror. I want to see what's happening. <laughs> and I realize I do that a lot. Like, if you guys watch the TikTok, you know this lovely little mirror. This is my best <laughs> friend. But I'll be like, okay, guys, so this is how I do my eyebrows. And I'm like, yep, eyebrows right here. Right? This is how I do them. Okay, boom. And then you're probably like, like flawless. Like, I didn't right. see it. I didn't, I didn't see that right. I'm like, she lies. It's a sticker. I didn't see her do anything. Okay. <laughs> right? Literally. <laughs> You're like, it's a stencil. <laughs> <laughs> um, so real quick, we have lots of comments coming in, and I think we should jump into some makeup. Um, yeah. It's almost quarter after. So I'm going to go through a couple comments, and then we're going to get into it. Um, but anybody yeah. watching, if you have questions, um, you know, comments, of course, please feel free, throw mm -hmm. them in the chat. We'll, once we get makeup going, we'll start pulling up questions and stuff. But, um, Kat, who has been on the show previously says, hello, ladies. Hello, hello. Kat. Hello. So hello. glad you were able to join us this week. Um, this is an old name and face that I have not seen. In oh, my oh, my it's Jessica Hines. Hi. Hello, my lovely hello. lady. How hello. are you? I miss you so much. Wow. <laughs> We have not seen her in ages. I know. It's been such a long yeah. time. And I'm like the um, worst person. I never reach out. I always feel like forget. No. So anybody that like knows me, reach out to me. Because I'm probably thinking about you and I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I'm horrible with that too. Like I'm absolutely horrible. Um, But I have, I don't want to say like premonition dreams, but I have very vivid dreams mm -hmm. and i've had dreams about old friends from high school like haven't talked to them since i graduated and i'll reach out on like facebook and be like hey i had a dream about you don't worry it wasn't creepy like uh, you, were, you know you and your wife were hanging out you know with my wife and i like it was just like old friends coming together introducing to families and he said i'm the worst friend i never reach out i was like you work for a tech company like you are a genius like you right. are busy like i'm just like a measly like peon in a company and you are like running a company okay <laughs> i'm busy i know you are definitely busy right, right? um and of course then he found out that my in-laws live in south carolina he lives in north carolina and just proceeded to give me hell for not stopping in north carolina to see mm. him on my way home oh Fun. I said, well, next time, maybe, you know, yeah. I can meet your fur babies and your wife and, you know, because yeah. I see them on Facebook. Right. Yeah. Um, we have one more comment real quick. Uh, my wife from the living room who is what, playing video games and watching the show says, hi, hello, I'm here. She will not be asking makeup tips. Right. I do her makeup <laughs> once. Um, she will never let me do it again. I even said, you know, I've gotten better since that time. Can I do it again? She was like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Like well, you were... listen, if you add a little bit of food, it may do, you know, it may do the trick. Be like, let's not buy you dinner. Okay. I mean, I'm very bites. pure. I might <laughs> add in some other favors. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it may get a little adult rated at that A point. little rated R. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, who are you fooling? It's going to be NC-17X. It's not even R. <laughs> I'm so key. naive. I don't even know what that means. Let's just pass on. Let's move on. <laughs> We're moving on to makeup. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, All right. So, brows. what do we start with? Okay. So, the first thing I start with, I think it's the easiest part of the, well, not, not the easiest, but it's probably the best step to get out of your makeup routine is your eyebrows. That's okay. the first thing I always start with. 
It's so, okay. yeah. So we're going to jump right in. So. What if my eyebrows are sisters or distant, like, sisters, cousins, not even twins? Like, they're not. See, the thing with that is, is people spend a lot of time trying to make them look identical, and you're probably never going, it's probably like a once in a lifetime thing they're ever going to look the same. So, yeah. like, if that happens, literally like if that happens like you know just like pray on that day because it probably will never happen again <laughs> right pray on that day buy a lottery <laughs> ticket you know like it's good luck job <laughs> literally pray literally but yeah okay. so like honestly as long as they somewhat look like you know they're related <laughs> that's all that matters doesn't matter if they're like second cousin third cousin your great great grandma whatever twice removed well. <laughs> Liter <laughs> literally okay Okay. Literally. All right. Close is good. All right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I use pencils are perfectly fine too. They're really okay. great for precision. So actually what I'll do is I'll do one with a pencil and then one with a dip row. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I have so both. Maybe I'll do the same because I have both boom. too. Okay. You said the pen, but that's fine. <laughs> so First thing I'm gonna go in with is the dip route. It's probably easiest. I like to hurry up and try to get them done as quickly as possible. So I find that using a towel made, um, since it's, it's kind of like a paste at consistency, it just boom, boom. Yeah, I hate doing my eyebrows. They're the last thing I do <laughs> so much. Question. I always got a question. Yes. I do. Why are we doing our eyebrows first? The reason we do that is because um, I find it that it's harder for the product to stick if you already have foundation and everything on top. It's okay. kind of hard to miss them if you're putting foundation on, so it'll start to cake up your hairs. Okay. Makes um, sense. So then when you put your foundation, I guess when we'll get there, you just really mm -hmm. want to be careful not to put them on your Because uh, Listen, when I beat my face, it's literally, I can't find my sponge right now because it's in the mess of things. Oh, I'm yeah. literally like... <laughs> everywhere. And there's a way to help that. So the way to do that is when I cut, so I cut under my eyebrows to clean them up, but I also take my yeah. foundation color and I cut the top, but I like, I do like a thick like layer on top, uh, okay. like to really cut them so that when I'm blending, it will blend into the layer that we put there and not the actual eyebrow. Oh, okay. Okay. Bada okay. bing, bada boom. Right, I feel so, like I should wash literally. my face now. Damn it. Right? Oh. <laughs> you're well. No, you're good. Honestly, okay. another way to do it is if you already do like, if you like to do your base first, however you like to do it there, mm -hmm. you can just honestly, um, I would go ahead and just take like your spoolie and wrap a makeup wipe around it and then just kind of like lightly rub it to get the foundation out. I have that because I was fighting with my eyelashes earlier. So hold on. What's a spoolie? Yes. This little part right here. An eyebrow brush. An it's eyebrow a brush. Yeah. <laughs> it's a spoolie. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm Stop crying. renaming things. Yeah, so eyebrow brush spoolie or this little fuzzy thing on the back. Wait, Either so I need this little fuzzy thing on the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. It looks like a like, caterpillar. So, oh, doesn't it? Yeah. What I hate is that I get hair stuck in it all the time. Like, oh, and oh, you're over yeah. here like. And it wraps around it. And I'm like, like where did the hair even come from? I'm not sitting here twisting it. I'm exactly. Like, like oh, literally, no. it makes no freaking sense at all. No I'm sense. like. Wait, yeah, so do I so. need a. Um, uh, like a tissue? If you already have foundation, well, Cassie already has her foundation on, so I yeah. think your foundation, you don't have any foundation. So I just go ahead and just, you know, brush them up. And a new thing I actually want to try, because it's actually like a really big trend right now on TikTok, is eyebrow wax. People will take <gasps> eyebrow too. wax. Yeah, we'll get them to stay up. I yeah, don't, I don't see those TikToks. I've never seen <laughs> You're on the wrong it's side like, of TikTok, girl. I guess I'm so. like, I it's like, like this wax. But it's like this wax, and it gets them to just stay in place. And I'm just like, I need to try that because Not it's like amazing. I'm a it's huge Elf fan, right? Like, I have this is Elf wow. Dip Brow. Like, love, love them. Elf. They, I've heard the really good things about their eyebrow wax. So I'm like, oh yeah, I might just have to go try that. Oh, I love that. That's actually my favorite primer. Oh, I, I used their mm, Poreless I Putty Primer. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, that's a Tasha dupe. So yeah, amazing. I used this one. Literally so freaking good. I but love I that. And that then one. I, this one, it's really amazing because it's like, it has, um, if you ever use Milk Cosmetic, I got the little travel size version because that big version was like $42. And I said, not my budget. But this like, right, so this is like the Milk Primer, but this one is literally the exact same. Half the price. And this one's better. 
There you go. Health is bad, I'm telling you. And it's like, it's absolutely amazing. But yeah. Sorry, I'm squeezing because I'm seeing rogue hairs and they're driving me nuts. Listen, I, I have them right here too. I was literally going to clean them up, but I said, you know what? Not today. Mm-mm. We are real women. I'm fucking around on the Real. <laughs> literally. All right, I'm going to grab my mirror and I'm going to try not to cover the camera. Okay. Molly's devil fist in her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. You're like, oh, I okay. gotta hurry up. All right. Okay, I'm ready now. What do I do? Yes. Oh, you guys, you're doing the the. My hair won't stay. The pomade, yes. I'm gonna do the pomade first because okay. okay. it's pretty quick and easy. So, let me go ahead and like get a little bit closer. Okay, so for my eyebrow, I start with my bottom line first. And okay. I don't start at the very front. I start at kind of where my arch begins. Okay. And so I kind of start right here. Don't know where their arch begins. Um, <laughs> I would just, I would kind of go a little bit back. Don't immediately start at the front because you want your front of your eyebrow to be the lightest and your back to be your darkest. So yeah, Molly, about right there. That's where like your high point is. I heard someone told me that it's like right in the dot of your eye, like the pupil right up. That's where your right there well if that's yep, the that's case like... my arch starts all the way up here <laughs> yep as long <laughs> as long as it's not the very front of your eyebrow because you don't want there to be a dark line there just pull it back a little bit and then that's when we're gonna start okay okay, okay so just grab a little bit of product you don't need a lot with the pomades which i like also because it like it literally it lasts so long so yeah. you're just gonna go ahead and start mm-hmm. right there and just kind of go ahead and start to create that line of where you know just follow along your eyebrow. And if your eyebrows are a little bit shorter and you want to extend them, baby, drag that thing out however you would like it to be. Let me grab a little bit more. I didn't grab enough on this lovely brush here. Now, am I just drawing to like to the this point? You're yeah, you're just gonna keep drawing to the end of your eyebrow. I like to extend mine a little bit, so I pull mine down a little bit more. So it's everywhere you want your eyebrows to end, that's where you want to pull it down to. Okay. And should you be like arching it or just a straight line? Oh, you look just like- following, just following your arch line. So that's where, so that's kind of how my line uh, lines up. So I'm just following exactly where my line is. I feel like my eyebrow gets super sporadic towards the end. Yeah, like, mine nope. too. I kind of have to make mine up. Oh, and that's so- okay, also. How does your like your eyebrow looks so crisp? Mine just looks like a weird tadpole. <laughs> But see, when you clean it up with the concealer and make everything, see, that's the be- that's also another good thing about when it comes to eyebrows is that, like, even if you did, like, a shit job, at, like, after you're done filling them in, concealer yeah. is literally where it's going to save you. The best friend. Okay. It's clean literally, it. like, exactly. Like, it literally helps you perfectly. So, as okay. we can see that, so this line here, I'm literally just following my natural, you know, kind of, um arch here and then I'm literally mm-hmm. just gonna pull that and I pull it down some because I, I kind of like my eyebrows to be a little bit more dramatic so I kind of really pull it all the way out here but yeah so that's what your first line should look like okay. I pulled mine further down just to see and see I have, look really, at that. I have really thin eyebrows like at least my right one and that's why I'm like my left one's better my right one is like pfft, not there you're like, um, excuse me, where you go? <laughs> right, and it wasn't even like I overplucked. It's just not there. I'm like, hello, like, you've been growing for like six months. Right. What's happening? <laughs> You're like, I have not touched you, shaved you, nothing. What's going on? Yeah, okay. this one I have to pluck every four days. This one I can't get to grow. I'm just going to start gluing them from one eyebrow to the other. Literally. Yeah. Okay. So once you finish that line, then I go ahead and I start my top line. Okay. And now, so for my top line, I go from actually, like, the front of my brow. Okay. Because we've already used, and I keep the same amount of product, I don't dip back in. Because we still want that part to be front, too. So I start at where you want the top of your eyebrow to start. And then just start dragging it all the way back. And now, for me, sometimes if you have to, like, reshape, go ahead and do so. Like, mine, my hair start to disappear right here. So I kind of, like, go you know, outside of where my hairs line up at, like this oh, here, because sometimes yeah. I'll have to go up higher and bring them down, and then okay. you just fill that in. Because literally, my freaking, they, they start to uh, become non-existent. Well, I would say my right arch is much less than my left arch. 
So I always find myself having to draw a higher arch on this eyebrow than this eyebrow. That's literally, no, literally, that's for, like, this one has a better arch, my right eyebrow, and then my left eyebrow, um, she kind of has a mind of its own. So I really have to, like, you know, perform surgery every time. Yeah, that's why I started with my right one, because I was like, okay, this one's the one that's, um, that's funny, me too. doing her own thing. Mm-hmm. Like, she's the superstar, and then the left one has to, like, try to catch up. Yeah. yeah, my left Literally. one is always chasing my right one, always trying to catch it. Literally, like <laughs> she's just like she's that girl. Do we she's fill just... in between the lines now? So what I do now is I dip back in a little bit back into your product, so you can just go to dip back in a little bit. And I also take in if you're using a dip brow, I love that. Uh, let me okay. I love that it has these little edges because I use that to really thin out the brow like this and to get as much excess product off as possible because okay. once you actually have it on um if you use too much uh you're kind of gonna have to start over because it's gonna be too cakey too thicky yeah. and then it's gonna look very very um unnatural and that's not what we want to do you're gonna have caterpillars on your forehead I mean, no exactly. that. <laughs> if you let right if you want that then like be my guest but we don't want that but yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then you're just going to start filling in. I fill in from the back since we added more product first. So I start filling in from the back since we want that to be the darker side. Um, and then, you know, and you'll also know that the pressure um, that I'm putting on the end of the, towards the end of the brow, I kind of lighten up a little bit as you keep getting to the front. Oh, uh, okay. So I apply a little bit more pressure on the back and then I just kind of lighten it up um, as I get to the front. Yeah, we're gonna need some, some concealer. Although she don't look that bad. Look um, at her. You guys like okay, well, but. mine looks like I'm painting between the lines and trying to like I said, a child trying to paint Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, once we add that concealer. I'm so excited for this journey. But Molly, you have <laughs> fabulous eyebrows without anything in them. Like, Again, they're super thick. Tag <laughs> <laughs> Super thick. Uncle Baggy. Okay, bottom. Okay. Here. Yes. I definitely feel like this one's overachieving tonight. Okay, look at that. But look at it. Look at the arches that we have here, guys. It's mm -hmm. like I'm living for it. Now, do you fill all the way up to the front or no? Yep, that's what we're about to do now. Oh, yep. Okay. So Sorry, what I, I oh, no, nope, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do now is now I go ahead and start to create. So my eyebrows start all the way back here, and that's not cute. Absolutely not, because then I'd have like they're so far apart. So I bring them up a little bit forward. We don't want a unibrow, but the way you want to kind of line it up is so um. On the same way. TikTok. Love the TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to like kind of yeah. do like right here. This is where you kind of want your start line to be. And then you'll notice that, like, as you said earlier, you'll, like, want to follow the middle of your eye to know where, like, mm -hmm. you want to really start to arch it. And then this is when you're doing, like, wing liner or something like that. You kind of want to line it with the bottom of your eyelid to know where you want your stop point to be. Well, my stop point's good, but my start point's way over here. So I got to move that over. <laughs> That's what I have to do. I'm like, yeah, I have I to fill like... it in some because literally she likes to start, you know, all the way back. You know, it's giving receiving. Uh -oh. oh man, you can't, can't freeze leave in the middle. middle of my eyebrow. I have one eyebrow on. <laughs> okay, you're back. Okay. You can't back. leave us. We only have one eyebrow. That's it's not one done. eyebrow. <laughs> Guys, it's doing the voice again. No. <laughs> well, that's okay. So we had this technical issue earlier where Alicia, it sounds like we're in slow motion and underwater and just not cute. So as you can see, she's losing her shit right now, but yeah. it is 830. So it, it is. is the perfect time for her to reboot and us to go to commercial. Stop. Oh so, God, my second eyebrow. I'm going to boot her out so she can reboot or restart her, Start. her um, phone. Yeah. And then we're going to go to commercial. So when you're back, girl, we'll bring you back in. Okay. Just nod, because you'll you'll find out what's going on. So we're going to remove her <laughs> while we're waiting for that to happen. We're going to go to commercial. And then hopefully when we come back, we can finish our eyebrows and beat our faces because yeah. we have a quarter of an eyebrow done. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? So 
on that note, we're going to go to commercial break. We will be right back. Do not go anywhere because hopefully. I mean, this is fun, guys. Come back. <laughs> and I have a feeling we're going to go past nine o'clock. I'm just I think so saying. Too. So just be a fair warning. Yeah, fair <laughs> warning. So sit tight. We'll be right back. Hey guys and dolls, this is Casey DeVille, the better half of DeVille, Inc., Baltimore, Maryland. If you're ever in Baltimore, stop in and see me and Tony. Invisible Brie, 5920 Eastern Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21224. Give us a call if you're in the area, 410-400-9641. Or look us up on the web at DeVilleInc.com. DeVille, Inc., where we specialize in you. buddy try again <laughs> yay okay oh yeah good job oh Life just got sweeter now that WLFE-DB has merchandise. Show your support by purchasing your T-shirts for WLFE, Paratalk Radio, Inside the Drag Closet, and more. But it doesn't stop there. T-shirts, coffee mugs, tanks, buttons, cloth bags, and more. Go to WLFE-DB.com. On the top bar, click on the Merchandise tab, and bam, there you go. You got merch. Support the shows. WLFE-DB.com You're listening to WLFE-DB Radio. Now back to our program. Hi! Okay, I, did I my think other we got eye Alessia break. back. You what? Okay. I did my other eyebrow during commercial break. Nice! Alright, let's see if we got her back. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Are you there, yes, we're back. I <laughs> guess listen, I don't know what happened, and then it started the deep voice again. <laughs> it's like a slow mo voice. It's literally so okay. So I know we're probably like, okay, yeah. So I went ahead and did the other eyebrow um during the commercial break also. Am so I, I just straight up and popped it? it on. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. Well, I, okay. <laughs> y'all have another y'all have other stuff to do. Like I already have foundation, bronzer, all that kind of stuff on. So y'all can continue. I'm gonna keep doing this if okay. you want. Yes. Okay. That's so perfect. after you put everything on, do you use what spool? What is this thing called? A spoolie. A spoolie. I was gonna say spinner. Yes. Um, a spoolie, and do you just like kind of what? Yep, I feather them out a little bit. So let me go ahead and apply. So um I, we left off at this line. So once mm -hmm. I go ahead and make that line a little bit lighter, and then I take um just the front of this, you can take your eyebrow pencil. It's actually easier with the eyebrow pencil because you can get more precise. Um, and then I just do fake hair strokes. So I literally just uh, like, I kind of just like flick it up. Oh, I didn't do that. And I go very lightly with it to kind of mimic. And sometimes when you flick them up, you may, ha you may even get them a little bit higher because sometimes I do that also where it flicks up. It just makes it look like little fake hairs. So that, you know, it kind of mimics like this is your actual brow hair. So I just like, I kind of just like flick up. I feel like that um, actor on like the dad on like American Pie. With like the big <laughs> eyes. 
<laughs> He's also on like Shit's Creek. <laughs> so as you can see, mine are definitely not sisters or twins today. You can see one's kind of like leveled, and then this one's kind of like, yeah, hello, how are you? But we're going to fix that and make them look as even as possible once we put on that concealer. Okay. Can I start feathering so these don't look like tarantulas on Yeah, my go ahead. So, yep. And then now I just go ahead and take my, you know, spoolie and I just really just go through the eyebrow, especially where the hairs are, and I just start blending that in. It will also lighten up the end of your tail and stuff like that, just so you know. Nothing looks way too harsh. Oh, yeah, this one's way overachieving today. Look like, at this one, like, look, like, she looks cute. And there's this one. Like, <laughs> no, I think that one looks good, though. I like it. I'm gonna need her to get her shit together. You're like, um, come on, just Seth. Like woolly caterpillars on my on my face right now. Okay, so let me. Which fun fact? My mom cannot say woolly caterpillar, and it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, your mom was so hilarious on the freaking live. She was like, "Oh yeah, yeah you're not my favorite anymore." <laughs> I was like, um, mood. <laughs> well, this is the funny thing. We have a running joke. So when I, because I'm the youngest in my family. Mm -hmm. And so if you've ever seen A League of Their Own, the joke in there is, you know, this is my daughter, Dottie. And this is my other daughter, Dottie's sister. So that was the joke growing up was I always thought my sister was the favorite. So I would be like, yeah, you guys introduce us as this is my daughter, Morgan. This is our other daughter, Morgan's no. sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan. <laughs> so now, yeah, like, that's um, like, get, Molly doesn't get her name. She gets, you know, Morgan's sister. It's Morgan's sister. Yeah. But, like, I kind of get that because now it's, like, it's happening to my brother, especially in school, because a lot yeah. of people are like, oh, my God, like, you're not, you're Tommy's brother or yeah. you're Alicia's brother. Yeah. And it's literally, he's like, I have a name. No, same, because, same. And I still, <laughs> to this day, get it. Oh, you're. Are you related to Morgan? Yeah, she's my sister. Oh, you're Morgan's sister? I'm Molly. Molly. Molly, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Literally, it happens to him all the time. He's like, oh, he kind of loves it to an extent. He's like, I guess that's my sister. <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, I love you. But right. then it's to a certain extent. He's like, okay, my name's Chris. Like, I have a name. Okay, thank you. I am my own person. <laughs> Literally. But yeah, so after you guys are done feathering them out and getting them, you know, looking spectacular. I mean, um, <clears throat> they're about as good as they're going to get. Okay, literally. Some days it's like oh. that. Like these right now, um, they're literally like this. Like it's giving its own face. facial expression. I got a lot of brows going on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so now it's time for concealer. So I use a brush like this. I was using a very flat brush, um, kind of like this. But I found that I get more precision with kind of a little smaller, flatter brush like this. But it can Ooh. you can literally use whatever. That can work too. Yep, you okay. can use because I was also using I used that before also. I don't know if I yeah, there's a ton of brushes here and I'm not yeah, I'm not doing good for it. But yeah, a flat brush like that there, just so you can get just basically a precision brush. Just a very okay. precision brush so that you can be very precise. Okay. But yep, this and then you just put the lamp. Yes. Okay. Yep. So you just get it nice and flat, you know, with your concealer. I just put it on my hand and then I kind of just like dabble in it and then I'll just kind of make sure I get it nice and flat and then I'll take it a little bit up to make sure that I don't have a whole lot in my brush. Because if you have way too much concealer in your brush and you accidentally mess up, it's going to go into your eyebrow and then that's just a no-no. Mm, that's me <laughs> that like i used to do that all the time and then i used to mess up my brows and try to go over top of it with so much product and then they just look like absolute shit so and then i would have to start all over okay so what do i do once it's on my brush yep so just once you're on your brush just make sure you don't have a whole lot of loaded product up in there <clears throat> boom and then you just go ahead and start carving just go along hold on let me grab this mirror so i can do this okay so i start um at the arch point mm -hmm. first and then I just start line, lining it right along. Yo, this really shows you that um, you need to tweeze. It's catching mm -hmm. your oh, oh, it really does. That's so, no, literally, because you create the line and then, like, you have them little, like, <laughs> slay hairs. You're like, oh, this is where I need to pluck. I was like, this is oh, <laughs> like a chicken. You tweeze literally. for eyebrows. So if you do your own eyebrows and you want to know which hairs to get rid of, do your eyebrows, slay that concealer, and you'll know which yeah. one's got to go. You got to tweeze. Right? Literally. 
Awesome. Yeah, so I just do where my tail is first, and I just get that, make sure it's very nicely lined. You guys can just, you know, kind of freestyle this, however thin you want it to be, if you want it to make it thinner, if you want it to be thicker, and then you just start doing the rest of your brow. I feel like I brought my concealer down. Yo, the carving really helps. I've actually never really carved out my eyebrow because, like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm thinking I'm gonna make some time for that. Look at yeah, let it like you carve it. If you literally start carving it, it's absolute like literally perfect. When it gives like, a nice highlight on your brow bone too, which I mm -hmm. love. Absolutely. I look like hairy woolly caterpillar eyes. Like, girl, dang, look at your mm -hmm. eyebrows. Yep. So if you literally just start doing that, um, <clears throat> and I. Huh? You do the top as well because I started. I do the top. <laughs> I was about to just say stop right there. You use your foundation. Use your foundation for the top when you line them. Well, I just did a little. You bit. said I was living my best, <laughs> but listen, have fun. Honestly, you could use your concealer on top because I mean, you basically place it there again a little bit once you do like your temple. I think this is called your temple right here. What this is, is this? Oh no. <laughs> 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 um yeah guys sorry don't like don't mind me i was she's a I makeup was artist pretty... she's not an anatomy exactly person. like <laughs> I, yeah um so we're just gonna is this just your t-zone your t-zone yeah it's your t-zone okay there you go so your t-zone so basically you put it back so if you want to use a concealer you can but i just use foundation okay foundation but yeah Period. But yeah, so let me, but yeah. And then the reason I start here, just to explain uh, from the tail, because once you get this part of your eyebrow ready, it's going to help you prepare so that you don't cut too much up here. Okay. Because sometimes if you cut too much from the front, then you have to really cut your tail and your back and you just really messed up all the beautiful work that you just put in. Okay. And try the other side now. So let me go ahead and just line this up. What's funny is I literally waxed, I feel like, three weeks ago, actually, my eyebrows, my lip, my chin, and I'm like, look at all these hairs. No, literally, okay. Stop. I can I wax, my... and then like four days later, I'm like, shit, I gotta shave. I like, what? I need to go ahead and wax my own face so I can start waxing and learn how to wax my face because literally, um, shaving makes them grow back faster. And when I'm telling you, um, the beard that comes on, um, until she gets like, you know, facial, um, what that, whatever the facial surgery for the hair to get the hair removal. Um, Laser yeah, because literally, hair. like every year we go, because like every two days, um, it's giving like Sasquatch, it's giving like Gorilla, it's giving like. Girl, maybe they'll give us like a two for one deal. Can they really? Because please, because this is not it. I think I got some concealer in my eyebrow. Oh, no, it's fine. All you gotta do, oh, yeah, just. Best one is just being a dumb 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 literally it's my left one all the time like this my right one looks like fierce and like walking down the runway walking down the highway <laughs> hi this one is like walking down the highway with her you know titties hanging out and she's got one shoe on like i don't know no, what's see, happening I, over here I think that one looks really good yeah this one i don't know this one Okay, you said we do the top with foundation. Yep, you do the top with foundation. Okay, so and you can start... literally just yeah, you can go ahead and start that now. You can literally like I just use the same brush. I just take off the product, so I just want to clean this up. Okay, <laughs> this is an investment. I want to say it's twenty dollars, but it's actually really good, <clears throat> especially if you don't have like a lot of makeup brushes. Uh, it's the it brushes for Ulta. It's this spray right here. Oh, nice. This okay. is like an instant makeup makeup remover. You literally spray it on the brush, wipe it off, and give it thirty seconds. It's ready to go again. Ooh, literally. That's so, one thing I'm very... horrible horrible with. I don't wash my brushes. I know it's Liter horrible, but <clears throat> sorry. Ooh, and that right there, literally, is just a quick little cleaner. It literally, it's uh, really good, especially if you're doing uh, like if you're um, if you have clients. Because in between, you know, makeup appointments, if you really have to, like, be quick and use the same brush, spray that on. 30 seconds, it's ready to go, and it's clean, and it really uh, nice. cleans the bacteria. But, yeah, let me go in and pull my foundation and, like, shut up and, like, hurry up and, like, carve these on the top. You just do the same thing right on top and just carve them out.
this make eye tags or do their own thing? Um, I think I have a pro. Oh, uh, yeah. How come my foundation is lighter than my concealer? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the wrong concealer. <laughs> um, you know what? It's it, really light. You know. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my god! I literally started laughing. And I went in the front of my brow. Oh. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> you know what? Absolutely not. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna bring them down a little bit more. That's fine. Alicia says this is the last time ever coming back on this fucking show with you twats because this is insane. <laughs> yeah, over here making me mess up these these brows. Oh my god, this! I created a unibrow with my concealer. I mean, with my <laughs> I'm crying. All right, we're gonna fix that in just a second. I don't know, like paint on a mask. This is really fun. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can do that. It's even like also <laughs> the beauty of it makes it look fun. Right? It looks like yes. Tessa says, <laughs> looks like we did Ulta. trip to Ulta. Facts. Oh my god, yes. let's go, Tess. I do. Yes. Oh my god, crap. Well, the funny thing is, is she literally came with me to get this concealer for my wedding, and that's how long I've had this for since september i mean some Ooh. of these stuff i have in my makeup bag i've had way longer than it says you should keep and i'm just like whatever it doesn't smell funny <laughs> right <laughs> listen you have an expiration date because they have to automatically put one on but listen like even okay. powders and eyeshadows have an expiration date <laughs> so i'm probably gonna have these powders for like the next 15 years thank you i'll probably bury them with myself okay um, honestly some the of them, with how have... expensive they are, they are going with me. Okay. So once I have this, do I put, now do I put, like, my foundation on? Everywhere? Yeah, prime your face if you didn't prime. I did before. Oh, okay, then, yeah, then you're good, and you just go ahead and put your foundation on. So let me go ahead and prime. Look at you, Molly. Foundation. Like, I'm over here, like. Yeah, no, I just primed <laughs> my face. I was primed. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm already primed. I'm like, okay, one second. Right. <laughs> I let that stuff dry. It gets real soaked in my skin. Yeah. And I freaking love this primer because it's kind of, it's like kind of tacky and sticky. So your freaking like foundation will stick like a gem. Okay. Boom. So let me go ahead. Oh, oh my God, girl, you're like already foundationed up. I'm like over well, here. Like, oh my. Super easy. Well, I'm fuck out. And then I'll just be my face. Actually, I forgot to get this wet, so I'm going to be right back. I was going to say, so some people use brushes. Some people use their fingers. Some people use... Use know. whatever you're comfortable with. For foundation, I find it easier. I find it better to use a, to use, um, a beauty blender. And then... <clears throat> oh, my God. And then for concealer, I use a brush. Cause you get more coverage out of it yeah <laughs> um yeah i use just one of the real techniques like sponges oh i love the like listen i freaking yeah. they have small ones and then they have fat ones like this do, do wait do you have a fat one too mm -hmm. look at it yeah freaking humongous what i love it you get it wet and it goes from itty bitty to bam literally and i'm like um yep. yes ma'am yeah, now you're just gonna go ahead and just you know really blend that out there. What's your foundation color? Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're loving what we have going on right here. What kind of foundation do you use? Oh, 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 um, I, <clears throat> cause I have very bad dry skin, so I use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I have super dry skin too, so I was just what I was wondering. I'm using the Good Apple right now. Yes, oh my god, you we literally talked about that, and I was like, yep, ordering it, and I literally never got it yet. Kind of Um, I'm using whatever came into my, uh, Boxy Boxy Charm. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee? I need to. Oh, I have that one. I freaking love it. It's a stick. I just go, and I'm done. It's so great. Yeah, mine is totally also, not my color. 
stick foundations are literally so good for contour also yeah no Love seriously them. okay so i you know what okay, i'm trying to think cool. if i have a stick contour that might be darker i mean or I a stick foundation that might be darker like that like my summer tone versus my winter tone well yeah so do i i don't do anything underneath my eyebrows or my eyes uh, we kind of do that when we go into foundation. Um, no. Isn't that what I'm doing? Eyeshadow, <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. Typically, I do my eyeshadow first before I do anything because I hate when fallout gets in your base and you have a beautiful freaking base. But yeah, we're just going for like kind of a natural. Kind of However, thing. if what I've learned from the kick of the talk is if you have a really good primer for your primer. eye, that's when you're not going to have any fallout. Because it'll oh. get very sticky and take that period. Mm -hmm. I really want to yeah, try the freaking, it's like the best freaking eye primer and it's freaking P. Louise. So, I want to try oh, that yeah. too. I want to try them so bad. But I'm like, you know what? The way my budget's set up, I can't just order one thing. Right. Right. Like, I'm like, it's come, it takes so long to get here. Like, I'm not going to order just one thing. Like, I need to just order their bundles. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe like I'll use Parna or Afterpay here soon to like be my best friend. I'm going to Google um, the P. Louise because they have, like, every color under their sun, essentially, in, like, one of their kits. I'm just curious as to what it is. Yeah, like, I'm freaking, oh. I, like, literally, oh, my God, I love P. Louise. And their freaking TikTok, like, I follow their TikTok, and literally, it's so amazing. Like, it's literally so freaking amazing. Like, the looks that they create are absolutely, like, free freaking nominal. Okay. So after you get your foundation on, do you put on yeah. like a setting powder before you do it before? So because contour? I have very bad dry skin, um, I work with a lot of creams. Okay. So I do my creams first. I get all my creams out the way, then I jump into powder after. Um, so yeah, so first I'll add my concealer. And actually, um, you don't have to, but I use two different concealers. Um, I use one that kind of more matches my skin tone, and then I use one to brighten. So I just use Juvia's Place. They're they're just fourteen dollars, so it's not too bad. But like you like super full coverage, baby. These ones right here. Oh yeah, but yeah. So I go in with one that kind of matches my skin shade, and I just kind of just you know load that bad boy on there. Okay, and if you don't have that, what do just you use your regular shade for concealer that you do. You don't have to use two. Um, well, we just found out that um, it's darker than my foundation, so let's. So, but you know what? That's absolutely fine because when you add the powder, your powder will just you know lighten it up a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So yeah. And so where I am I putting ahead. the concealer? Yep. So I go ahead and I layer it like right, and I kind of stop like, kind of like where the end of my nose line comes out. So probably like right there. This is a now, lot. Never... I was gonna say. So mine. I already have a base on, but so this was, is very light. Like this is, I use it just under my eyes. So if I were to use this and it would be super bright, like all the way down here, should I do that? Or should I get like a different color to do that far and then just brighten underneath my eyes? Yeah. I, unless you like a super powerful, like bright, like, like that, go for it. Um, <laughs> So, but for me, I kind of like to focus the brightness right here on my inner corners. Um, and then um, basically like where a lot of light catches. So like I'll use the brightening one right here at like the very small point of my, uh, I was about to say temple again, uh, my T-zone. Um, like a thin line right in between my nose, a little bit right here and a little bit right here because that's where the light will catch it. Naturally. So, and then, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I take that. And I just take the dark, uh, the, um, yeah, I'll show you how it mouths up so you guys can kind of see. So this is just the one that kind of matches my foundation color a little bit. It's still a little bit lighter, um, but it kind of matches my foundation color. And I put that on the top of my lip, um, on my chin, under the eyes, and then I go ahead and create like a nice little lovely line down my nose. Um, and then, you know, kind of create like a little... I don't know what you want to call this. Um, a kind of like a triangle going Yeah, into kind of like a little triangle kind of thing. And then I left that there. <clears throat> and then I go into the lighter one. And then that's when I put that 
on the lo- the parts I want to highlight. So I put that right there because okay. I like to highlight that center. Um, do the little bullfrog. So you're, it's like you're building product up. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So you're building it up a little bit and you don't have to use too much. Um, I'm more of a full coverage kind of whore. So if you like, you know, like that, definitely go for it. See, look at that period. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And then you can go ahead and start blending. Um, <clears throat> just for time's sake, we can go ahead and jump in. Uh, but typically I let this sit for about a good two to three minutes. I let it dry down a little bit. Um, Cause sometimes I notice that, yeah, exactly. So when you gotta like get it going, usually I'll take like a little mini fan and like you really get it going, but yeah, let it dry down a little bit so that you can get as much coverage as possible. Cause if you start moving, it may also pick up on your foundation a little bit also. So, but if you let it dry a little bit, <clears throat> you'll get, you'll see that you get more coverage out of it. Oh, you see this big mirror? This is what you're used for. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You just don't let it dry down a little bit. I carry a fan, like a legit fan, like a like 19, 1919 fan. No. Yeah. In my purse. But like this one is ever. like on the go because I'm always hot. I'm always literally yeah, sweating. Always like hot. disgusting. It's giving like ran a marathon and right. I don't run. So <laughs> but yeah, so, so you just let you that dry. Are, so while you guys are drying down, um, Reese says this is this is more hilarious than I thought it would be. Sorry if you hear me laughing on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> she heard makeup and was like, nah, I'm good. Thanks. Listen, funny, look the at Chronicles. Me. Look who we are. I mean, how could this not be funny? Right? Come on. Okay, and I think this is dry as much as I want it to be. Yes. So I now I've seen people put like their bra, like their contour on contour. Yeah. On before they blend in this stuff. Is that what you're doing yep, now? Yep, so that's what we're gonna do now. Yep, what? so I let this dry first and then I just grab a darker color. But you, if you don't have, oh, go ahead. I don't have liquid. So if I have like a, a powder bronzer. If you have a powder, then I would just go ahead and blend out your concealer, then put on your powder, then you can use your, no, okay. your the, like the blush, the, blah, 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 the thing, whatever, okay. yeah. So I'm gonna go in and blend this out well, but yeah. So I, you, you can use a beauty blender. I like to use a brush and then I'll go back in with the beauty blender. I found that the brush, I just started this recently. I found that the brush actually gives you more of a coverage. So you get, um, cause you know, with a, a sponge, it can pick up, okay. it'll pick up some of that product. So if you use um, a brush, you'll see that you get more, a little bit more coverage in. So I start from the bottom and I blend that into my foundation. And I kind of go kind of heavy with my hand to blend that out. And I bring it all the way up to my temple. Hey, uh, See, there uh, we go. So I'm now, just gonna go ahead and bring it up. Just out of curiosity, so like I said, I have a really bright um, concealer, but if I don't have a a darker concealer that's more of my skin tone, can I just use my foundation to kind of blend that in right here? You can. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, yeah. you can. I even know some people that use concealer as foundation because it's of the consistency and the coverage it gives. Like, honestly, use what you got. And that was a big thing of me starting makeup. I was like, oh my God, I got to have these specific products. I have to have this brand. Literally, like, use what you can. You can use it literally for so many different ways. It's not even funny. Right. Like, literally use it for so many different things. Like, sometimes I'll use um, eyeshadow with blushes. Um, sometimes I'll use it as contours, like literally use what the freak you have. Um, I, you have used, um, uh, eyeshadow, the word left for contour, especially like doing stage makeup. Cause I need a really dark contour. So I'll go in with like a, like mahogany brown eyeshadow and just cut my cheeks. Mm-hmm. Like and, literally use what you have. And I've used it for lipstick too. I've used, sometimes I've used an eyeshadow as a lip liner. Mm-hmm. I use eyeshadow like as lip. blush. I use it as lip rouge. Mm-hmm. I use it for everything. I've used blush for, for lips and eyeshadow and bronzer. Yeah. Well, and like I started like wearing makeup like when I was in high school 
but that was like back in 2000 and like four so that was when like black eyeliner all around the eye was big tiny little freaking eyebrows and we didn't have these fancy brushes and no we We had had, square sponge that was useless that i used for like halloween like makeup now yeah like yeah Mm -hmm. and i would use my my eye or my my eye my finger to do my eyeshadow and stuff so like when i do like a cut crease or i want to do something i sometimes use my finger because i can get better precision (laughs) than a brush because we learned how to do it with our fingers Um, I'll never forget, this was several years ago, my mom was still using, like, makeup, the triangle sponges for her makeup. I was like, Mom, no, here is a a beauty blender. She's like, what's that do? I was like, just try it. (laughs) It'll change your life. Yeah. I remember when they came out, and, like, um, everybody, like, you couldn't find them anywhere, because they were so popular. I can't find the freaking brush I use all the time. Um, Alicia, have you, I know you use like the real technique, um, like the beauty blender. Um, have you ever used a silicone blender? Uh Yeah. Are we slow now again? Oh no. Where'd her go? She looks angry. (laughs) She does look angry. angry. (laughs) But when she like, when I said that, I was like, did I make her angry? And we're in slow mo again. And we're in slow mo again. Get out, come back in, girl, because my face is not finished. Yeah. Honestly, we're just gonna deal with it. <laughs> like, all right. you know what? It's gonna make me laugh, and it'll probably make other people laugh. So let's all laugh together. <laughs> all right. So now I need my. <laughs> I'm loving that I can just kind of like sit back and watch. Oh my this god! Is great. Have you guys ever watched? Can, uh, can you guys hear me clearly? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, have you guys ever watched the movie Taxi with Queen Latifah? Yeah. Yeah. And they're in the room, and the little ladies that like they're in the room, and they turn like the guy turns on the freaking gas, and the thing like comes off, but it's like the laughing gas, and like Queen Latifah is like, yeah. Freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> like it literally sounds like freaking laughing gas. Oh my freaking lord. This was like amazing. I needed this laugh. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain while we're over here like dying right now. So yeah. So I use the cream to contour, so this is kind of where I place it. Now, this is Elf, so I got to work with it fast. So I'm going to hurry um, because it likes to dry down very quickly. But, yeah, so this is kind of where you want to put your contour. You want to kind of start at the top of your ear and go down um, when you're contouring your cheeks and doing creams. Then you do the forehead. I do two lines on the nose. Um, and then I do under the lip because if, if you um, <clears throat> just want to wear like a gloss and don't want to use lip liner, this will make this uh, like your lips look a little bit more pouty, like a little, you know, a little, oops. like a little lip. Oh, damn. I just spurred. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. Oopsie. That was a very lady line. But yeah, I'll make it. <laughs> Okay, that literally smelled like this morning's breakfast. Like, that was kind of disgusting. <laughs> like, it just smacked me in my face. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me stop because then my eyes are going to water. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and work with this. And when you're using creams and you're contouring, uh, you don't want to really go like this because you're going to bring it down below your actual, you know, like cheekbones. You kind of want to keep it right where you placed it and you want to blend up. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to go ahead and blend up and then I bring it into my temple. So I'm just blending this up. And you don't want to come down too far because then you're going to, you kind of want to just lift your face. So you kind of want to stop it like probably about like here. So you really just, I'm just going to blend that up. Oh, tonight's episode is definitely over time limit, but it is my favorite. I can't. I can't. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, you guys are literally making me cry. 
So when my freaking I start watering and I start looking a hot mess on this little camera here. Well, that's okay. Um, so Tessa says, I'm laughing so hard. I'm right laughing now. so hard right I now. I can't handle you three. you three. Listen, I wish you guys could hear what I so, hear. Already did. Already did. It, then, yep, so out. Tessa says, Molly, or don't pee, Molly. Already did. There you go. <laughs> and Tessa says, OMG, I'm dying. <laughs> Best show ever. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, God. If only you guys knew, oh, too. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh god, I'm gonna god. need an outer wheel and a bottle after this time. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm laughing so hard. I'm Ooh, starting to sweat. Some I'm gonna need some Excedrin. Ooh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna have to that. I have to go to bed and do all this over again at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Christmas. <sighs> Sweating. <laughs> oh, all right. I I hope you guys know that I'm just loving sitting here watching you guys do this. Like <sighs> I said, I was gonna sit here like this all night long. Right. Well, and I said I wanted to be do exactly what Tommy does and see what happens. Elise Alacia does and see what happens. Do you guys see how it makes your lip look more pouty? Like it's so um it looks like I got punched in the lip. So <laughs> I wanna try that mm -hmm. to contour under my lip. Okay. I then once you use all your creams, I hope you guys you guys can still hear me, right? Yeah, good. So yeah, once yeah. you use all your creams, then you just go in and set it with powder. Set it with powder. Set your face. Set it with powder. That's not like one of like the commercials where they're like showing off like a freaking like lawnmower and it like has these like crazy monster teeth and it's just like munching away the oh, like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. I need a little bit darker. All right. So I use two different powders. I use a press powder and then I use a regular loose setting powder. So I'm gonna go home and hurry up and just set my under eyes with the loose powder. Yep, set, 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 baby. <sighs> Now, question about the powder. Um, I know we all have texture. We all have lines. Like, it's normal. But how do you avoid that, like, underneath eye creasing with powder? Okay. I think I heard what you said. Um, and I think you said um, that, did you say you don't use under eye powder? <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, try it one more time. Okay, so how do you avoid creasing under the eyes if you use powder? Um, okay, I heard something about the eyes if you use powder. Was that kind of right? No? no. <laughs> okay, honestly, we're just gonna like make up sign language and Trish try to help me out right now. <laughs> Okay, try one more time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because <laughs> this is like, oh, we got to love Xfinity. I'm suing them today because this was ridiculous. They knew I had a very and very important podcast, and they're just going to over here and mess with my Wi-Fi. I'm going to email the company. I'm going to have a BF. Okay. Let me put my blush on. Do your blush. Put my blush on. Okay. The face is not. How do you minimize under eye creasing when you're using powder? Okay, love that. There we go. Um, yeah, I definitely wasn't getting that out of you know the audio that was. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> the way to do that is I use a press powder, um, and I also use a loose powder, but an also big thing is not using too much powder because the more powder you're gonna use, the more it's gonna infilize your creases. Um, and a big thing for people is like, oh, if you do this and that, blah, 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 blah. If you have natural creases there, it's gonna, it's gonna show regardless. There's like no powders that are gonna minimize it. It's just using how much of it 
if that makes if that makes sense. So if you have a lot of creases, like I have natural creases right here, they're always gonna be there. But you just kind of want to don't use a whole lot under your eye because if you use the more you use, the more it's gonna emphasize it. Yeah. So you just want to make sure if you have a lot of creases under the eye, you're not using a whole lot of powder underneath or it's going to emphasize it more. Um, and what I find about using a pressed powder before using loose powder is that it really holds your concealer underneath and it does help make sure that, you know, you don't start having a whole lot of creasing. So I use this pressed powder. You can also use like foundation powder also. That will work, but yeah. So hopefully that answered the question. Yeah. Ow. Okay, let me hurry up and get this set quick. Okay, no. yeah. boom. All right, and then we're just going to powder the rest of the face. So after you use all your creams, go ahead and pick your beauty sponge and just powder that face, baby. And I don't use too much because, like I said, I do have a very bad dry skin. The more you powder, the more your face is going to itch and crease and look crinkly. So if you have very bad dry skin, I would definitely recommend not using too much powder. Oh, okay, so so pressed powder first, then loose powder. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> bada bang, bada freaking boom. Okay, cool. So now I'm all powdered up and looking lovely. So next you're going with bronzer. Bronzer. Where's my bronzer? One uh, what if you use your concealer bronzer. and bronzer or your contour and bronzer as the same thing? Oh, yeah. I forgot you can't hear me. I got you. Thanks. Please. Yeah, one, <laughs> you're like, hold, one second. Hold that thought. It's, like, so stupid. Why is it doing this? Like, Xfinity, I'm really suing. I promise. I love my eyebrows, though. Okay. What if you, what if us use the same bronzer as contour? Then that's fine. You just don't have to add more. If you already put it, use it as you know your contour, then boom, you're good to go, my love. Okay. So, I'm gonna so start basically, so people know like what the difference is. So contour is going to, um, contour is what helps define, uh, you know, enhance your features when you're really um, like the cream. So it just helps under like my powders and stuff really just help define my face. The bronzer is more for like adding color to your face. Okay. So that's how I d d different, uh, differentiate, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it, differentiate mm -hmm. the two. So bronzer is more to help define okay. the bronzer. Yeah, I said that right. Contour, sorry. Contour is more to help define the face. Bronzer is more to help add color to the face. So it okay. brings that color back in. So I'm <clears throat> gonna go ahead with some lovely, lovely, Lovely. One second. I'm trying to find the book. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to just go in and then I just, you, you guys can obviously tell which color I love the most. Um, <laughs> she's um, almost gone. I got this in um, uh, one of the, uh, what's it called? It's one of those box, boxy charm mm. um, before I canceled. This was the first thing and I absolutely loved it. And like their brand is so freaking good. But yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just warm up my face a little bit because, you know, she is looking a little crusty, dusty, dusty. It's getting very like nasty, nasty, nasty. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it where we, you know, bronze that and really bring that into the tempo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it doesn't matter how much you put here, honestly. I mean, unless you, I mean, the harsher you like your contour, go ahead, live your best life. But we're just going to, you know, add just a little bit, you know? Yeah. So we're just going to really do that, get the forehead. You really got to get that forehead because, listen, if you have, like, a big forehead like me, you can land a plane. Like, you know, American Airlines does land on here, like, every morning. So you just want to kind of minimize that a little bit because it's getting, like, like, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, literally, yeah, it's giving, like, concession stand bit. table. Literally. Like, it's literally giving, like, concession stand table. Like, literally, it's giving, like, look at that. That's the mess. That's disgusting. Okay. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you really want to just bronze that bad boy. So, I kind of add a little bit more in here because, 
you know, we like to really just minimize this big ass forehead. Sorry for the language today, but this forehead got to go. So, yeah. And then we're an adult. I show, just had a little bit of my nose and then right underneath to kind of clump. Yeah. You know, okay. Period. Now can we start? Yeah, I usually go really fast with that. Huh? Well, eyes? Here's, oh, here's the thing. Blush. Hold on. Hold on. So it is okay. 9 15. We are over time, unfortunately. No. So I have a question for you. Not you that you can hear me. It. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Hold on. I think it said we were, it's 9, it's 9 p.m. I think we went over our time. Is that is that what was said? Yeah, I think we went over time. Darn. We, I always do that. I should have, like, already prepped my face before, my lovely, beautiful humans. Oh, wait. Yes. So what look. I'm saying, everybody, is what I asked. Yeah, you. we could, I would love to do that. Yeah, so I said, we kind of have the come, base. Yeah, come next week and we can do eyes. So she so will have all enough. this finished. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll oh, be, yeah. I think I got what you guys are saying. So right now we did the base. So yep. next week we can do eyeshadow and stuff like that, applying lashes. And then I'll already have base already ready no. to go to start for eyes. Yeah. Yep. Boom. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Got it. And I promise not to have goodness. no more internet issues. Yeah, so hopefully next week, Alessia won't be having internet issues. But what we'll do is we'll do our, our full uh, face and base before the show. And then Alessia will teach us how to do the finishing touches and our eyes next week. So I think that would be a great idea. Um, not that she can hear a word I'm saying right now. No. But um, next amazing. week, definitely tune in. Uh, because I want to know this, the secret to a perfect winged eyeliner. I want to know how to do a cut crease on a hooded eye. So That too. Yeah. So we're going to learn. But we will nail down the, the details for next week. But everybody knows where to find us. You can find Modern Family every Friday, 8 p.m. Um, here on Facebook and on YouTube Live, but make sure you check us out next week when we take the beautiful bases and finish the look. And put them into faces. Yeah, right? period. Yes. But everybody, usually we end on a good note, but I think this show was fantastic. Was so we will continue part two next week and we will see you next week. Don't Bye. forget to subscribe. Yes. <laughs>